हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यूर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ईशानी त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एंजीनियरिंग इन टेक्नोलॉजी वेलकमिंग बैक टू दी सेशन रिगार्डिंग दी सब्जेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन इक्विपमेंट एंड ऑटोमेशन ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट एस कंटिन्यू नाउ टूडे इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव स्टार्टेड रिगार्डिंग द ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी वी डिस्कस दैट हाउ द ड्रोन फोटोग्रामेट्री वर्क वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रोन दैट आर अवेलेबल फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन पर्पज फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री we saw that there were four different types of drones now we are going to study them in detail we have already been through what is a drone and how it is known as uav that is unmanned aerial vehicle and how it is applied in the construction as well as different purposes so now today let us continue with the different types of drones that is used specifically in the construction works or uh, say in all purposes the first which we are going to talk about is the multi rotor drones now first we had a single rotor drone then we discussed that we also have a fixed wing drone but the most important for us over here the most uh, used in the civil engineering works is the multi rotor drones now you know students what are the rotors they are the rotor blades which are uh, rotating in the air and because of that thrust which is created it is going to fly in the air we are also going to apply the operating controls and with the help of which it is going to fly uh, by uh, the rotors or the rotor blades it is just like the helicopters in the helicopters we have the large rotating blades or the rotor blades here we are going to have a smaller size as compared to the helicopters so now let us have a Uh, look uh, let us discuss regarding the multi rotor uh, drones so as you can see students uh, the rotors can be uh, uh, only one in number and it can be more in number let us have a look uh, we can also see over here that the camera is mounted at the bottom uh, this is your example of having three rotors right here, here we have three arms you are going to count the arms over here so we have three arms and the rotor blades are mounted on it so this is a three uh, rotor blade three different types you can say that it is a tricopter i am going to talk about the names we have the camera mounted at the bottom this is your high resolution camera we have already discussed about the aerial cameras you know that so this is going to carry out the surveying work or the aerial photogrammetry next we are going to talk about the different types of drones based on the number of rotors which are present in it so here we can see that it can have three rotors that is tricopters then we have four rotors that is quadcopters then we have six rotors that is hexacopters and we have eight rotors that is octacopters so uh, i think you can understand that here the name is replaced uh, with the helicopters so you can call it as tricopters quadcopters hexacopters and the octocopters here we can see that how uh, this thing works uh, we also have at the bottom this is having two rotor blades so two pairs of rotor blades here it has four pairs and uh, again you can see over here it has four pairs the aerial camera will be mounted uh, we have discussed about the same as i said already so now let us talk about the certain disadvantages of the multi rotor blades so it has limited endurance and speed the efficiency the endurance meaning the efficiency when the speed will be limited you cannot uh, carry out longer works you can get no, cannot uh, cover the large spaces or large areas uh, for the survey works when you are talking about this type of drones so it is going to have limited amount of speed because you are using the rotor blades to work you also know that the helicopters have lesser speed as compared to the aircraft uh, because of the rotor blades uh, which create thrust and move into the air so there will be lots of atmospheric conditions also which will be affecting the movement of the drones so here it has limited speed and en endurance because of this particular reason next these types of drones are not suitable for large scale aerial mapping as i said it cannot move for a very large space or large area its speed is limited the weather weather conditions will also be affecting so you cannot carry out the large scale aerial mapping with the help of multi rotor drones so for the purpose of the uh, pipelines or roads or power lines and highways meaning they are trying to say that the 
uh, construction of huge uh, works huge projects for that purpose you cannot use the multi rotor drones next it says the multi rotor drones have to do a lot of effort to keep them in the air now this is understood you are going to have to provide a constant power to it constant control to it and it will be requiring more effort it the blades will have to constantly keep rotating against the atmospheric action and wind so more power will be required effort will be required to keep them in the air next depending on the weight of the drone and the camera because see over here the weight also matters lower the weight more you will be able to fly it uh with speed but with more weight you are not going to have larger speed so here the camera will also be mounted with it so the weight will add up with the drones so depending on the different types of weight combination of drone and camera multi rotor drones currently hold an average of 20 to 30 minutes or less in the air this is the average time it can fly in the air for a particular cycle then after uh, you will be have to uh, repeating it after a certain period of time so i am showing you another over here this is your example of octocopters this is your uh, eight uh, pair of rotor blades you can see over here this can be used this will be giving you more efficiency endurance and speed as compared to the uh, tricopters or even say the uh, two uh, rotor blade drones next i am going to talk about the fixed wing drones now can you see over here we have the fixed wing drones can you see that it is just like an aircraft it is very much uh, similar to an aircraft yes we can see that so here uh, it will be having a fixed wing meaning there will be no rotor blades over here it will be moving just like an aircraft again this is an example of a hybrid one because here we have uh, the uh, rotating blades at the front and then we have the fixed wings as well but you can consider this one as a fixed wing because in the hybrid one the rotors uh, rotor blades will be mounted on the top just like the uh, tricopters and other such drones so you can just consider this one over here as the fixed wing drones so it says the fixed wing drones operate on the same principle as the passenger airplane it is operating just like an aircraft meaning you are going to have to provide it a runway to take take off you are also going to need a runway for landing sometimes you can also give it a thrust manually with hand and make it fly in the air so this is how uh, the principle is based for the fixed wing drones uh, they do not generate thrust by vertical rotors uh, as i said it will be the rotors will be mounted on top for the hybrid so here it says it is vertical rotors right but they generate the lift using the fixed wings just like the airplane these type of drones need energy only to move forward and not to keep them in the air just like in the uh, in the copters you require the energy and thrust to keep them in the air here energy will be only required to make it move forward now there will be one thing as the copters can be uh, moved it can be used backwards here there will be a disadvantage that the fixed wing drones can move only forward so here they are much more efficient for topographic mapping of larger areas as they are able to cover the larger distances as compared to the multi rotor drones we discussed that how the multi rotor drones have limited uh, area covering so this will be done with the help of the fixed wing drones now let us discuss about the certain disadvantages as well it says that it has inability to stay in the air in one place now just like the copters the copter drones can stay in the air you can keep it at one place because of the rotating blades it can stay in the air while you have seen that the aircraft cannot remain in the air it cannot be steady in the air so this is your first drawback of using the fixed wing drones its inability to stay in the air now if you want to convert this into hybrid one then this disadvantage is going to be overcome next take off from the ground and landing on the ground as i said for any kind of aircraft you are going to require this so a runway or a catapult will be required to uh, put it in the air and to take it back safely on the ground so this will be uh, something tedious you will you are going to require the setup 
It can reach a higher altitude during the flight, making them efficient tool, but can only fly forward. About flying forward, I said that uh, there will be drawback over here. Aircraft can only move in forward direction. It cannot go reverse. It cannot go backwards. So here it can reach higher altitude as compared to the rotor uh, drones, but there will be uh, the disadvantage that it can fly only forward. Now. Next, we are going to talk about the hybrid drones. Now, see, there are drawbacks and disadvantages in, in the rotor drones as well as the fixed wing drones. Now, what if you combine these two and overcome all the disadvantages, then your work will be done. So, this is how the manufacturers have taken an idea to start working on this. So, let us try to understand that what is a hybrid drone. Here, it says the fixed wing hybrid drone require is more energy energy efficient than the quadcopters or any kind of copters and as a result it can cover the long distances. Now let us try to understand from the sketch over here. You are also supposed to draw the sketch for the hybrid drones. So we have is it is just looking like an aircraft. It is a fixed wing aircraft but the rotor blades are mounted over here. The vertical rotors are mounted. So you are going to have advantage of both of these things. So you are going to have advantage of fixed wing as well as the vertical rotors. So here uh, we are having the rotors, okay, uh, I think uh, we have first, second, third and fourth. I have marked over here, these are your rotors, then uh, you are going to have a lifting motor attached at bottom, then these are your fixed wings, then this is your pusher motor which has to be mounted for moving any kind of aircraft, then we are going to have a horizontal and vertical tail. These are just the parts, you have to remember the names. But the most important for us over here is the fixed wing and the rotors and the pusher motor. This is how your hybrid drones is created. So the quad shaped drones do not need that much space for takeoff and landing. The four rotor mounted drones. So the manufacturers have decided to combine all of these as I said that to achieve the highest efficiency uh, this unmanned aircraft is created to take off vertically and then go into horizontal flight using the wings. So the wings uh, is going to make it have the horizontal flight and then it is going to take off vertically with the help of rotors just like the rotor drones. So the hybrid one, the hybrid drone flies on a pre-scheduled flight route at a user specified height. It means the flight, the route of the flight uh, will be specified. We have talked about the direction of the flight already in photogrammetry uh, and here it will be a user specified height meaning you are going to have to uh, decide, you have to feed, you have to design it such a way that it will be having a specified height or the altitude and collect the data through its color and multispectral sensors. So sensors will also be mounted over here. This is a complete example of an automated hybrid drone. Next, upon completion of its mission, the drone will be landed back vertically to the starting point. So here, I think you can also understand that the problem of the runway will also be eliminated over here. Uh, this is how uh, your hybrid drones work. I am showing you the uh, picture of the hybrid drones. Can you see? It is uh, having a flight aircraft, fixed wings. These are your quadcopters or the rotor blades and this is how it is going to work. It will be lifted vertically and then it will move horizontally. Now, next we are going to talk about the different applications of the drones. Mark that we are also going to study about all the different type of applications in detail as well. Let us try to have a look. Now, the first uh, application is building survey. For the existing building, if you want to carry out the survey at the various locations, at the various uh, places or the roof or the facade, then you can carry out the first application of the drone will be the building surveys. The second application is land survey. Now, here if I say land survey, then aerial mapping and topographical mapping, aerial uh, photogrammetry, all these things will be covered in the land survey. So you can carry out the complete land survey even for agricultural purpose, for soil erosion, checking, for monitoring. All of the things will be included under the land survey works. Next we have a structural health monitoring system. Meaning the existing building, if you want to carry out the uh, structural health uh, inspection, right? Uh, meaning to detect the cracks, to detect any kind of damage, right? For the existing, let us say the bridge structure where, it, where the areas are inaccessible 
inaccessible to go i have marked over here two points uh, these shall be inaccessible for us to go manually so here the work can be carried out next which we have is underwater survey now students this is different than the hydrographic survey which you have studied here the drones will be specifically used to carry out the underwater survey of the seabed or for the dredging purpose or for uh, say laying the foundation purpose so to inspect uh, to inspect uh, for the inspection of different uh, uh, phases inside the water underwater survey will be carried out next you have the construction site inspections right uh, on during ongoing construction the supervisor the monitoring can be done live monitoring can be done with the help of uh, drones so it says construction site inspections next we have equipment tracking and automating so the uh, equipment which we are supposed to uh, bring to the uh, site the construction site or say whether we are using the equipment on the site say concrete batching plant for example to carry out its inspection and its automation again you can use the drones next you have is integration of laser scanning and aerial photogrammetry so the aerial photogrammetry will be carried out using the drones and the thermal scanner or the laser scanner scanner will be mounted and the integration of both of these technology is going to give you the images of the particular area like you can see over here this is the thermal scanning or say laser scanning it is an example of thermal imaging as well uh, that is also one of the applications major applications of the drones thermal imaging recording so this is how your thermal scanning or laser scanning of the area can be done this is an example of a survey which can be done with the help of terrestrial survey as well with the help of uh, scanners here it will be mounted in the drones and you can carry out the scan of the building or the area next at last we have is quality and quantity survey for the various locations and areas we will be discussing that in detail so students this covers the applications the major applications of the drone uh, technology or drone photogrammetry we will discuss further concepts in the next lecture have a good day students thank you